أشهد أشهد أن لا إله أن لا إله أن لا إله أن لا إله إلا الله إلا الله إلا الله إلا الله وأشهد وأشهد أن محمدا أن محمدا رسول الله رسول الله رسول الله رسول الله رسول الله Nigeria at large may want to know how do you feel today? I feel great. This was like a, since I was since I was about 18 years old. I always wanted to like go come to Islam, but my mum is a Christian, and I, I was quite close because being the only child, I was quite close with, with my mum. But now I've, I've got my own kids, and my kids support me being Islam anyway, you know, because they've read about, they've read Quran and everything. My son and my daughter, they've read Quran, and they like Islam. They want to be Islam as well. So that, I, I don't understand what's happened to. Uh, uh, a lot of us, when you read Quran and read Bible, it seems to want to be a Islam more. I don't understand, you know. But that's just, for a long time I've been talking about it. But because of my mom being a Christian, and um, you wouldn't, and I mean, you would never hear me say good word about a Christian. I, I think they put this on me, but you, but but for years it's always been on my mind. So it's about time I, I've um, I've done it. Now at my age, I was always concerned about what my mother would say. But now I've got two children of my own, and and um yeah, and, and, and they're supportive of it. They wanted it. Henry, my son, was quite angry that he wasn't here, you know. But he's in England at, at the moment, yeah. You follow the footsteps of other superstars like Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I wouldn't say I'm following, I'm not following anyone on his footsteps because if I was, I would have done it while I was boxing. I'm following my own footsteps. Mm -hmm. This is my time. This is just, you want about, this is something that's always been on my mind. But because of my the closeness with my mum, I was the only child and she is really, she loved Christianity and she's a church goer. But she knew I wasn't. You know, that's, that's always been a problem to me, you know. But, now I got my own kids and they're supportive of it. I just thought, you know, let me do it. I'm 50 years old, you know, I've just turned 50 years old. I've been in boxing normally. So basically, why, why have I got to be worried about what people say about me? I might as well do it before I die, you know? Do you, know. Have, do you have any message to uh, team and fans or followers all over the world? Not really, just, it's just something that I've always wanted to do and I've done it and I'm very, very happy. It's about. I mean, to be honest, now then I wish I'd have done it a lot earlier because I'm so pe I'm I'm in peace with myself. I feel, you know, I, I'm in peace with myself. You know, it's yeah. I, I wish I'd have done it. I wish I'd have gone into them a lot earlier. It would help me out in a way. Yeah, I'm so happy with it. Yeah. How do you express how the way you are being hosted by the Khalifa and his? Uh, yeah, but I think it's fantastic because you know. Kanu was what I expected as a child. Although I've been to Lagos, I've been to Imo State, I've been to everywhere. None of them really tells you in Africa. They tell you in a jungle somewhere, but Kanu tells you in Africa. You know, I've, you, you come to Kanu, you're like, wow. You, what I dream about as a young kid in Africa is what Kanu is. Now, yeah, I've been to Imo, Lagos, Abuja. They, you know, they, they don't really, you could say they're jungle, they're not nothing like Kano. Kano is just more like, it's brilliant, I love it. It tells you what what our people dreams of. You know, like if you ask a young kid in England, what do you think Africa is? He said, they will look at Kano. Lastly, what is your award? Lastly, what is your award? Your award I'm just happy, I'm just happy. Salam alaikum to all of you. Thank you very much. Okay.